Hey, how you doing? What time is it? Oh, huh. That's weird. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure you said that with much love. Now I know, I'm just teasing you. I know you love me. And honestly, I look tired because I am tired. I'm so, so tired. Yeah, you know how it is. This work stuff, it just keeps growing. Unfortunately, more and more piling on. I can't really catch my breath from one thing before the next thing drops. Like, it would be easier if there was a little downtime in between, but there's not. There's not any downtime. Just more and more and more work. Oh, I try to prioritize, I really do. But it still all needs to get done. And it's funny how many things are considered a high priority. Like, if it's all high priority, then none of it is, you know? At some point, there are only so many hours in the day. And I'm just one person. One very sleepless person. I know, I've done my best not to keep you up. But I figured you at least had some idea of how late I've been staying up. No, it's okay, you're not wrong. The longer I stay up and the more tired I am, the less productive I actually become with the time I have. But... My head can make a twisted logic out of that. Like, operating at 30% productivity for an hour is still better than going to bed and being 0% productive for that hour, right? See how that works? Twisted but effective. That... <sighs> You're right. I won't argue the point. I want to argue, but I just... Don't have the strength. There's a definite physical toll. And psychological, I'm sure. I don't know if it's the tiredness or the stress or some combination of the two, but I definitely feel less myself. Less healthy, less alert, less everything good. But I have to keep pushing, you know? It's not a healthy place to be in, but I keep thinking I'll get through it and it'll be worth it. I keep telling myself, if I can just get through this week, or this month, or this whatever, I'll be okay. I'll be able to rest. Yeah, and I don't think that's wrong, but the end point gets pushed back more and more. The end of the line just keeps laying more track ahead of me, like some obnoxious little railroad gremlin. And I just keep chugging along further and further. You know, it's funny you say that. I think the sleep thing goes with the anxiety thing, and they feed off each other. Because, like, the less sleep I get and the more I stress this stuff, the more anxious I get. So when I do try to sleep, it's full of nightmares and anxiety attacks, which totally defeats the purpose of trying to rest, and makes me not even want to attempt to sleep, because why try if it's going to suck and be not restful? Why not just work harder, do more? I'm sorry, I don't mean to vent this much. I'm just... tired. God, I'm so tired. And I'm sorry for dragging you down with me. I know I haven't been a lot of fun to be around lately. I'm trying, I promise. You deserve a partner who can be fun and not exhausted. I'll keep trying, okay? I'll be back to what passes for normal as soon as I can. What? I'm trying. That's something. No, I... That's not what I meant. Of course not. Neither of us expects the other one to be on all the time. That'd be silly. Yeah. Of course I would never stop supporting and caring for you. No matter how dark your moods get, you know I'm here for you. You don't owe me perpetual perkiness. I know. I see where you're going with this. You don't want me to feel bad for being in a rough place right now. You want to remind me that you feel about me the way I feel about you. And that it's okay if I have down moods or down days or stressful work projects. But you know that's not how it works. No, of course not. 
I'm still going to feel bad because it's me. <laughs> you know it. Hypocrisy, thy name is Re. <sighs> but I really am sorry. And as much as this feels never-ending, I know logically that it will end. The work will never totally go away, but some of this is fairly short-term. Once these projects wrap up, I should be able to strike a decent work-life balance again. And then I can make this up to you. Yeah, but I want to. I want to make sure you know how much I love and appreciate you for putting up with me when I'm snowed under. Shush. I know this isn't easy. And you do so much for me. You look after me and make sure I'm eating and all that. The least I can do is show a little appreciation. Of course. I love you. You are way better than I deserve, sweetness. I just hope you never figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I should probably dive back into this. Still a few more useful hours in the day, right? God, I would love to, but I can't. Breaks aren't really a thing right now. I really wish they were, but... No, I just, I have to make the most of the time I have. I have to get stuff done, you know? Otherwise I'll fall even further behind. And then I'll be even more stressed. It's the most vicious of vicious cycles. It's like the ultimate tragedy that taking a break from my own health ends up making me feel worse because then I just have less time to get stuff done. God, it sucks. This really sucks. Oh yeah? What's your idea? I mean, yeah, if you want to. I'll never say no to a shoulder rub, especially from you. Absolutely. Go ahead. Oh, that's... Wow. That feels really good. Oh, ow. No, it's fine. Just a little tight. I think I've been storing a few weeks' worth of tension in my neck and shoulders. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Right there is perfect. Yeah, it's helping. It honestly feels amazing. Thank you, sweetness. No, I mean it. Thank you. Hey, what do you mean? That was lovely. It didn't have to be a big long thing. Just a little bit is plenty. Any more than that and I might fall asleep in my chair. Plus, you know, it's always nice to be touched by you, so... Yeah, thank you for that. Hmm? What else? But I just said, breaks aren't really a thing I can do. I... <sighs> You're right. You're absolutely right, and I'm being an idiot. I'm sorry. I mean it. It's exactly the sort of thing I say to you when you're the one snowed under. If taking 20 minutes for myself will make or break this project, it's probably doomed to fail anyway. The time is better spent on self-care. I'll get a better return on my time investment that way. No, I won't. I won't let myself feel guilty. It's only 20 minutes, like you said. It's just a little chunk of me time. I can afford that. And it'll probably be a lot worse for me in the long run if I don't. Okay, hang on, let me save all this. There we go. Start the clock. I'm taking 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, not an actual clock, but don't let me go past that, please. Especially if I doze off. Make sure I'm up to get back to work. Otherwise, I'll never trust you to help me take a break again. <laughs> well then, sweetness, I'm all yours. What sort of care did you have in mind? Oh, that sounds really nice. Cuddling on the couch, right? Not the bed? Just making sure. The bed would make it a lot more likely for me to pass out. The couch is probably safer. Okay, then. Blankets? Yes. Perfect. Lead the way. Okay, should I just get comfortable here and... What? How do you want me, then? Oh, okay, so you can rub my back? You don't have to do that, sweetness. 
I'm just glad to be cuddling with you. We can just sit together and be warm and snuggly. I mean, if you really want to. You sure? Okay, okay, let me stretch out then. <sighs> okay. Position assumed. I... Wow. Damn. Where did you learn to give massages like this? Oh, jeez. Yeah, of course it hurts here and there, but that's on me and my horrible posture. Hmm. You're not going to do this for the full 20 minutes, are you? Oh, don't get me wrong, this is amazing. But after 20 minutes, I may not wake up for a week. Besides, this is me time, and I want to spend it with you, not just being massaged by you. I was lured here with cuddles, remember? Cuddles are interactive. This is a lot more passive. But I'm not complaining, I promise. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, no, that's good. I need to remember to breathe. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm kind of bad at this. I don't get a lot of massages. I like giving them, though. I know, I know, and I'm not sure I'll ever be able to say thank you enough for the way you take care of me. You're amazing, sweetness. Yes, you are, and not just for this. You keep me sane and grounded. You make me feel safe, even when things are piling up around me. Like... With you in my life, I never feel like anything is insurmountable. I know we can tackle anything together. And we have each other's backs for when we have to go solo. <laughs> yes, literally, apparently. But you know what I mean. Knowing that you're here when I come up for air after a long day of stressful mess is like... the biggest relief ever. It truly does help me get through the day to think about you being here at the end of it. You're awesome, so thank you. Okay, come here. Mwah. Mm. Massage and kisses. You are spoiling me. <laughs> I love you, sweetness. Lots and lots and lots. <sighs> mm. I may just manage to be a bit more productive after this. I know, right? It's wild. But for now, how about you cuddle me? Good. Let's make this me time into some we time. <laughs>